The 2022 revision of EU Annex 1, manufacture of sterile medicinal products, reflects significant changes in regulatory and manufacturing practices for sterile products. This revision, coming into operation on 25th of August 2023, emphasizes enhanced risk management, a strong pharmaceutical quality system and modernized approaches to sterile manufacturing. Enhanced risk management. The revised Annex 1 heavily emphasizes the implementation of a comprehensive contamination control strategy, or CCS, based on risk assessment and scientific justification. This includes robust risk assessments for all aspects of sterile manufacturing, including facility design, equipment selection, personnel activities, and environmental monitoring. Focus on quality systems, a strong pharmaceutical quality system, or PQS, is paramount. The Annex 1 mandates robust procedures for management of outsourced activities and information transfer, process risk management and validation, sterilization process validation, preventative maintenance and cleaning and disinfection. Specificity and detail, the revised Annex 1 provides very detailed guidance on various aspects of sterile manufacturing, including cleanroom classification and environmental monitoring requirements, personnel gowning and training, equipment qualification and maintenance, sterilization processes and validation, aseptic process simulation and sterility testing. The Annex 1 acknowledges and provides guidance on modern sterile manufacturing technologies such as single-use systems, closed systems and advanced aseptic technologies like blow-fill seal and form-fill seal. While focusing on sterile products, the Annex 1 also highlights that its general principles can be applied to other areas where contamination control is crucial. All deviations, including sterility test failures and environmental monitoring excursions, must be thoroughly investigated to determine root causes and potential impact on product quality. Movement of materials between different cleanroom grades requires stringent controls and a documented disinfection program. Routine glove integrity monitoring is mandatory, with specific requirements for visual inspection and frequency based on the type of aseptic processing. The Annex 1 provides updated tables for maximum permitted particle concentrations for each clean room grade, both at rest and in operation. A septic process simulation must be comprehensive, simulating the entire aseptic manufacturing process, including worst-case scenarios. Terminal sterilization is preferred when possible, with various methods discussed in detail. When terminal sterilization isn't feasible, sterile filtration is necessary. The lyophilization process and equipment must be designed and validated to maintain sterility. The manufacture of sterile products is subject to special requirements in order to minimize risks of microbiological, particulate and pyrogen contamination. The objective is to produce products which are sterile and free from pyrogens and particles. Section 2. All non-conformities, such as sterility test failures, environmental monitoring excursions, or deviations from established procedures, should be adequately investigated before certification or release of the batch. Section 3.2 The movement of material or equipment from lower grade or unclassified area to a higher grade area should be subject to a documented transfer procedure, designed to achieve the required level of cleanliness for the receiving area. Section 4.10 the process simulation should closely mimic the aseptic manufacturing process and include all the critical subsequent manufacturing steps, for example, aseptic transfer steps, holding times, mixing or pooling steps, lyophilization processes, section 9.33. The 2022 revision of EU Annex 1 introduces significant changes to ensure the highest levels of sterility assurance in medicinal product manufacturing, a robust contamination control strategy, a strong pharmaceutical quality system, and adherence to the detailed guidance provided in the Annex are crucial for successful implementation of these requirements.